Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can tell, I am chilling in my bathrobe and that's because today's video is all about my at-home self-care routine. So this is gonna be a great routine for any of you new moms out there. This is a very like real person self-care pamper routine. I don't have like a big fancy tub at home. I don't have this like luxurious, gorgeous bathroom. These are some real things that I do once a week. I was gonna say every day, but it's not every day. It's more like once a week I try and do this routine just to have some me time. So I'm prioritizing myself too and being the best person I can be when I'm taking care of others as well. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole little self-care routine I do at home and then also talk about some of my favorite ways to find me time outside of the house too. So that will be at the end of the video. I forgot to do like a walkthrough when I was filming this video. So that's why I have this little intro right now and then the rest of it will be voiceover. But let me know if you would like to see a different format. Now, Next time because I can always refilm it. I'm always up for repampering myself for the sake of the video. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the very first thing I do is my coconut oil hair mask. I've talked in previous videos about how I love to do this hair mask to really repair damage and moisturize my hair. You can pick up coconut oil anywhere, but I love to get it at Brandless because it's only $3 for this jar. Then you heat it up just by running your hands back and forth and that will liquefy the coconut oil. Then I just slather my hair in that oil. I'll really work it through the middle and the ends of my hair, but also make sure I pay attention to my scalp and I take a second to really massage my scalp, scratch my scalp, and so that I feel super pampered in that moment. Once I'm done soaking and drenching my hair in the oil, I'll just tie my hair up in a bun and I let it sit there for about an hour, sometimes more depending on my mood. Any excess oil, I'll work through my postpartum baby hairs that I love so much. Also rub it on my face and try and break down any makeup or dirt that's left over. I'll moisturize my lips and also run it through my cuticles just for a little extra boost of hydration. Here I am just washing that extra coconut oil off of my face and now I'm going to wash my face with one of my favorite face washes. So this is a cleanser from Tatcha. I love this stuff, it's so good, but you can use any of your favorite facial cleansers. I just wanna use like the best skincare I have so that I feel really pampered and like I'm taking care of myself with the best products available for this like self-care routine. After I've dried my face, it's now time for a face mask. So the one I'm using here is from Tarte. I love this one because it actually has two different masks in one. It has a purple clay mask that is used to exfoliate and really get a deep clean for like any clogged pores or anything like that. And then it also has a gold mask that you add for extra hydration and for more of a toning and firming feel. So I'll apply the exfoliating deep clean one to my T-zone and then the gold mask in those extra areas where I could use a little bit more firming, a little bit of a boost. It kind of makes me look like a cat, but I just love the fact that I can use two masks in one with this one. Once I have my mask complete, it's time for some under eye care. In case you're wondering, Christian's right here with me. I had to include this just to show you that this is definitely a new mom routine. If I'm pampering myself, he's likely on the floor playing with something while I'm at it. These under eye patches have been my favorite lately. I use a bunch of different kinds, but I love these ones because I feel like they really tighten up underneath my eyes. So that tired look I often have, these really take care of it. They help with puffiness, bags under my eyes. Once those are on, I also wanna pay attention to my lips. I have no idea how to say this, but this has been my favorite moisturizer lately for my lips. It adds shine, it plumps, it's just super hydrating. Then I'll let everything sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, it's time to take a shower. I love to take a super hot, steamy shower just by myself without a baby around. This is like the best part of this whole me time routine. I use some of my favorite shampoo and conditioner. It can be any kind you want, but just whatever feels really luxurious and like it's going to pamper you. I again, take the time to really scratch my scalp and make sure I'm getting all of that coconut oil out from earlier. It may take me a couple rounds of shampooing my hair to get all the coconut oil out, but that's just even more me time and head scratching that I get because of it. You can see the shampoo is lathering more the more I use it. 
but I really want to make sure I get all of that oil out so my hair feels super clean after. After I've shampooed and conditioned my hair, I want to do a deep conditioner in the shower as well. So this one's from Aveda, it's my favorite one from them, and I'll work this through the bottom half of my hair, then let it sit on for about 15 minutes while I do the rest of my shower routine. I'm again washing my face with um, just a more gentle cleanser since I already washed it and did a mask. This one is just really going to tone and tighten my skin. This is from Mary Kay, I love it. And then it's time to scrub my whole body. So I actually do this step before I shave because this is just going to prep my skin for self tanning. I use the Flake Away by Soap and Glory. It's my favorite body scrub and I'll focus on getting this all over my legs, my arms, really my entire body, but especially any areas where self tanner may have built up previously. This leaves my skin so smooth. After that, I take a minute to shave all over so my skin is super smooth and prepped for self-tanner once I get out of the shower. I really focus on my legs especially, and then I also go in with one of those foot scrubber things. I cannot remember what these are called, but I'll have it linked down below. You can pick them up anywhere, but they really help me in between pedicures to keep my feet super smooth. I also take a second to soak up the hot water in the meantime by lathering myself in my favorite body wash and scrubbing all over so I smell really great and clean when I get out of the shower. Now it's time for my beloved hair turban. I love these things for protecting my hair and soaking up excess water. I'll wrap my hair in this like um, microfiber towel turban and let it sit there while I'm applying my self tanner. This is really going to soak up excess water so that I'm not using heat as quickly on my hair. I use a variety of different self tanners as well, but the one I've been using lately is by Saint Tropez. I'll apply two coats of this and really work through my legs, my arms. Sometimes I'll have my husband help me get my back, sometimes not, and I'm just like ghost white on my back. It just depends on how much time I have. But I just use a mitt to apply this all over. Let me know if you guys would like to see a whole like self tan routine as well, but this is basically the gist of it. While my self tanner is setting, it's time to work on my hair, which is quite a mess after taking it out of this towel. First, I use a detangler all over to help work through some of any tangles or my curls that I have when I get out of the shower. Then I use a wet brush to brush everything out. This brush is the best for preventing damage and really getting through any tangles or waves or just like nasty hair. This helps get out everything without damaging your hair. So I use this all over to first comb out my hair. The next product I use is Moroccan Oil Light. This leaves my hair so silky smooth. I love this stuff. So I'll use it when my hair is wet and then sometimes I use it when it's dry in between shampoo days as well. But it's definitely one of the products I use when my hair is wet first. Next up is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. This is a lightweight leave-in conditioner. I love this for repairing damage and again, leaving my hair feeling super soft once it is dry. I also use a split end repair from Aveda. This I just use in the very ends of my hair because it helps in between haircuts to keep my hair um, from breaking off additionally. Once I have all my product in, I again use the wet brush to comb through everything because this just makes sure that everything is evenly distributed through my hair. Then it's super smooth. After that, I wanna use my favorite face moisturizer. This one from Clinique, I've been loving lately because it provides like a blurring effect and really smooths out pores. It's great for prepping your skin for makeup. So I'll put this moisturizer all over and then I also add an under eye cream as well. I've just been using one by Estee Lauder because it's been a go-to of mine for years and I really pat that in lightly with my ring finger. After my skin is prepped while my hair is still naturally air drying, I go in and just add some of my favorite makeup. It doesn't really matter what products you're using, but the point is that you're taking time to do your makeup and get ready for the day. It's amazing how much better I feel when I take the time to put my face on and put myself together and put on like a comfy but cute outfit. I just feel so much more ready to tackle the day and I feel like I really dedicated that time to taking care of myself that morning as well. 
here's Christian again, because like I said, he's always by my feet. He's always with me. And of course the pups are too. We have quite the full house over here. I've been getting some questions on my makeup routine too, so I'm planning on doing a whole video just about that to walk you guys through my favorite products and my whole like everyday get ready with me routine, which is why I'm not talking through it too much here, but just know that this is kind of my go-to look and like I said, I just feel great when I take the time to get myself ready in the morning. After my hair is already about 80% dry, that's when I'll blow dry it the rest of the way. And this really just helps me keep it healthy and make sure I'm not adding too much unnecessary heat to my hair. I also use a special wet brush for blow drying my hair too. This one has like vents on the other side of it so it allows some heat to go through there and it's not damaging your hair quite as much when you're blow drying it. He is fascinated by the blow dryer. He loves to watch us dry our hair. <laughs> After my hair's dry, I take a moment to just pat down those postpartum baby hairs. This like little um, edge control smoothing gel really helps keep them flat and just out of the way so they're just perfectly styled. It will also last a couple days so I don't have to do this every day. I just do it every time I wash my hair. After all of that, I feel super pampered, really refreshed, like I've taken time to focus on me and I'm ready to take on the day being my best self. Okay, that's my whole routine. Like I said, I try and do this once a week. Usually I'll do this like Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings before we head out for the day, but that's not it. The self-care does not stop at home. Typically some other ways I like to pamper myself are I get my nails done. I try and do this like once every three weeks or so. I do do the SNS dip gel, so it lasts me three or four weeks. And then sometimes I'll throw a pedicure in there too. I also like to get my lashes done. I get my hair done. I get a lot of things done. But if you can't do all of those things, even just getting out of the house, you're breathing fresh air, you're taking in the sights, and you're spending quality time outside of the house, it's really gonna do a lot for your soul and just leaving you feeling super reinvigorated to take on the week ahead of you. I like to go get brunch with my husband and my son and just get out there and make sure that we're soaking up some fun. And I swear to you, when we get out of the house, and we just do things that are outside it makes me feel so great and it makes me feel like I'm just like replenishing and kind of like refueling up that energy gas tank for the week I hope you guys enjoyed this self-care video make sure you're taking some time to prioritize yourself as well it's super easy all of these things you could just start doing tomorrow even in your routine to make sure that you're taking care of yourself in addition to anybody else you may be taking care of as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really appreciate you watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one have a great day Bye.